Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So we've got some spookies and a foliol canvas completed. So yeah, I've got my squirrel wreath done and I think you'll agree that those colours are absolutely stunning. I love the way the berries just stand out there. And then all those oranges and deep reds, just a little pop of green. Uh, I don't know whether I'm keen on the squirrel having a, a green eye. I'm not quite sure about that. I might have to change that to a white or maybe an off-white. But uh, yeah, I suppose rather than just putting white in for one drill, they decided to use the lightest colour, which was the light green. But yeah, I think I will have to change that out. But that will be going straight up on my wall now for my fall little corner. So yeah, I've got a lot of drills left over. Uh, I think there's only a couple of specials in there. The rest are all, unfortunately, uh, acrylic drills with no DMC numbers. So they will just have to go into the bag for donation because uh, I don't do my colour matching anymore. Uh, as I said, I think when I got this, it is actually one of those where the pattern and the letters are all printed on the bottom of the acrylic base so i don't know if you can see that you probably can it's not going to show up yeah you can look you can just see because i've not been exact going over the drills here and round here can't really tell but when i look at it i can see the little guide circles underneath i've not yet you can see it a little bit better there on the red i've not quite got it enough um so yeah it's gonna drive me mad this is the thing with ones where the pattern is printed underneath the acrylic because you get a different perspective um when you're looking at it on different angles if i look at it straight on it looks wonky if i look at it sideways it's not so bad it depends how you've put the drills on and it does seem to be more the uh, gems the sparkly ones I don't know why the circles underneath seem to be showing up more on those uh, but maybe the sparkle takes away from it i'm sure once it's on the wall it'll be fine otherwise i'm just going to spend all day just moving drills around to try and get them in the right place when you get a canvas like this um or sorry when you get an acrylic project like this you do need to be right above your drill so that it is exact you know i can i can just sit and push those leaves now because i can see that they're not quite right <laughs> I can see the guide circles, ah! But I absolutely love the colours on that and I'm so pleased I got it. Um, so yeah, that's my first completion one. Uh, so we'll put the drills away as well once we've uh, had a look at the other two. So um, that will go into my log book. Um, there aren't any other bits and pieces to put in. So yeah, I've just got the one picture that can go in my log book. And I think as I say, oh, that's a larger round gem. And then I think it was just literally two um, gems again without any numbers on them. So I will try and match those up uh, with my gems, with my crystal gems as it were. But unfortunately they will all just, I don't know whether to put them into packets or whether to start a jar to put all the colours in I don't know so I shall leave those in there for now so they're what we need to kit up I've got a few others left over from my smashing the specials that I need to put away a few more different drills so they all need sorting out as well so we've got a few to do today okay right now well then let me just pop those to one side so the other one I did I love this <gasps> how spooky is this it just honestly i'm not kidding it was on my table and uh, as I, say, I have like a little i don't know what would you call it? it's one of those you know that you can slant different ways and you're supposed to be put able to massive weight on it move it with a finger or whatever i don't know they show you the adverts for them um and i just had it sat on the table and i came downstairs in the dark to let millie out and i could just see it sort of like glowing in the light because we have like a night light on just in case because i'm really clumsy and uh, yeah it frightened me to death. <laughs> so that is really really spooky but look at those teeth uh, as I say, they're the owl claw gems, as I call them, because I've always... Well, the first time I got them, it was owl claws. 
but then you've got your teardrops going round are the teardrops no the marquees going round just under the eyes and then the red on the fingers and it just really stands out all those different crystals wow and it is all crystals um well apart from the ab's that are lying in the outside but that is so spooky so that one will be going in a frame and going up on the wall but uh, yeah i really enjoyed doing that one say so fright myself to death with it <laughs> could be said that is not going up on the wall i will be scared to death if i keep looking at that and i said yeah i think that's a really good reason to put it on the wall <laughs> so again quite a lot of gems left over a lot of the yeah, oval reds look got quite a few of those and quite a few of the a b color as well so we'll uh, get those put away and then the other one is my scream and i love this um i didn't know whether i was going to or not because i don't i don't know i was like i mm, don't know whether it'll come out right or not and i wasn't wholly sure on the blue for the edging uh, but yeah it's come out really well i think i think with the red in the background it just looks so spooky and i just love the little marquees just as like the drips onto uh, the bottom there yeah and his little feet scary face but uh oh i thought i'd miss some then no it's just a different color the knife's a different color from like the uh material on his uh, arms there but yeah if that knocked on the door i think that one would scare me the most if that one knocked on the door i'd I, well i wouldn't answer the door it's as simple as that <laughs> so yeah they will both be going up in frames uh, i had forgotten about my hanging frame that i've got um i oh got this was it earlier on this year or last year i can't remember now i think it was possibly last year and it came with a blue ribbon and it had blue tassels so i've changed the tassels out so that they're black to match the frame and i've changed the ribbon out as well for just um a little organza ribbon in black because i thought it matched it up better but I, i'm quite considering putting this one in this frame because we've got the tassels because we've got like the tassels on the bottom of like its sleeves its bat wing sleeves and the bottom of its skirt or its dress or whatever it is it's wearing mm -hmm. um then i thought the tassels would probably sort of complement that so i'm quite considering putting that into the black frame let me have a look and see what it looks like well i've got it where's the big scissors there they are let me have a look I do like to try and match up a little bit. Um, once I've got all my uh, Halloween stuff out from last year as well, uh, it's all in a box under the bed. We're having a major clear out at the minute again. Uh, we did one room yesterday and managed to, we've got um, two bags. We've got two bags, three bags for charity and then a bag of like bits and pieces of toys and things that uh, we may pass on to some children that we know so yeah we've got a few things to do so let's just oh i love that sound i'm funny about sounds but i actually quite like this crunching sound on the canvas so it's quite a stiffish canvas this one i do like to keep my little bits for my log book so that will go in my log book and i want one little key code for my log book as well okay so they're all rubbish bits and I have emptied my bin this morning before I started. So I've got an empty bin, nothing's overflowing. Yeah, you go me. <laughs> Getting a bit tidy. Okay. Oh dear, hopefully I've got my new phone case coming today as well. That's, uh, if it arrives on time. I've actually got Millie's name put on the back of it as well. Uh, it wasn't too bad actually, it was was it about 13 pounds so it was quite a bit more than i like to pay because you know what i'm like i like bargains i'm like but uh, it's 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 quite difficult to get a phone case with a scotty dog on the back and this one's quite pretty and um, she's very pretty so i did buy a pink one um but my new phone is red and it looks awful oh it it looks like blancmange with red jelly on the top of it it just doesn't look good at all so yeah <laughs> uh, 
uh, a lot of the budget companies do sell these frames in uh, their various different colours and uh, sizes. This is the 30 by 40 one, which ideally fits well 25 by 35 paintings 30 by 40 paintings by any other name um as you can see it's a little bit snug and it's quite warm in here today as well i've had to put the heating on oh, i can't believe it said to hubby i'm gonna have to go out and uh, start selling my wares <laughs> if you keep putting the heating on but yeah no because he's sat all the time um, and he hasn't got brilliant circulation in his uh, leg, then we do have to unfortunately put the heating on because it does get cold quite quickly. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, I think that looks really good. What do we think? Just move that out of the way. Yeah, I think that looks really good in that one. So it's got like the red spooky background. Uh, it doesn't detract, the plastic front doesn't detract from the picture underneath. Sorry if you're getting a bit of glare, but I think the tassels on the bottom of the frame with the tassels on the bottom of his sleeves and his, I think it's a dress. Well, it's a robe, isn't it? He's in a scary robe. I think that looks quite good. So yes, that is all ready to go up on the wall. Halloween, here we come. <laughs> only a couple of weeks away uh, I won't cut him out for now because I haven't got a photograph to go with these bits so it needs to go in the right page in my book okay let's have a look at what drills we had left from this one uh, I'm, I'm running out of space to put my bits <laughs> okay I think this was just the air. oh no it has got fillers hasn't it oh I think no no I'm talking about this one I'm talking about this one Liz yeah um Overall, I would buy these again. I think they are really good. Um, the drills are really nice, sparkly. Uh, the sticky was real good to put the drills on. And I think the result has come out really well. I like the charting on them. I think that one is just... I've never seen that one before. And it's just so scary. I might hang that on the door, actually, for Halloween. It'll stop the kids coming around wanting, wanting sweets. <laughs> Do you think I'll get into trouble for scaring the neighbours? <laughs> get nasty parents coming knocking on the door saying, you've just scared my child to death. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm trying to work out which ones of those are black and which ones aren't. Oh, that's an AB white. So it did have an AB white in it as well. That's the little silver marquees. That's the ABs in the uh, blue black with the blue on the top and i think they're the black ones or are they the black ones oh dear no they're definitely the black ones so yeah i have a separate bag for those as well uh, and then they just want to go into my normals okay so let's have a look at these this was the pumpkin I know. I keep them all in one little bag and I know where I am so we had the little teardrops so there were teardrops around the eyes that's really yeah poignant isn't it teardrops all underneath the eyes Ooh. <laughs> that's his teeth he's got a few spare ones obviously false set <laughs> uh, and then these are just the normal ones that's the that's like a dark bluey, purpley colour rather than a black that that one's lined in. So, so I wasn't sure that was going to work and I wasn't sure that was going to work. But they have, they've done them really nicely. So I'm quite pleased. Well, I'm very pleased actually, I think. They really hit the spot and I want to get them up as soon as possible because I do want them to uh, be up for Halloween. And, you know, Halloween is only actually one day, but uh, I do like to have them up a little bit longer. Right, so let's move those pictures to one side and let's get my spurs. So this is my spare specials and uh, gems box at the moment. And yeah, I have got a lot, an awful lot. Um, these are all the Craft Buddy side. Uh, Craft Buddy Crystal Art have like numbers on all of the gems. So I do try and catalogue all of my gems as like the craft buddy ones um, and then I have the others all in 
uh, colour order, so like red, pink, blue, green, whatever you'll see as we go through. And then I have them in rounds, I have them in marquees, I have them in teardrops because they're like the three main shapes and then miscellaneous for anything like stars and flowers and things like that. And it just means that if I need one, I can find it a lot quicker. Well, I've just found some of my cardboard there that I've been looking for for ages. I knew I'd put it in a safe place, but I have got another bigger packet somewhere. So I need those out. I'll keep those out on my desk. <laughs> ah, Liz, why on earth would you put them where they need to go, you know, with the things that they're going to be going with? Anyway, hey ho, what am I like? No good at remembering where I've put things these days. Um, they're all just standard gem. Oh no, that's the larger one. So we need that one out. Uh, there's just the stew. The two standards. Stew standards. <laughs> Mrs. Molly Prop saying all my worms the wrong way around. So I've got three of my uh, ABs, which are the Aurora Borealis, which is like a an iridescent coating. It gives you an oil and water effect bit like the northern lights it's supposed to be and uh, that's red round it's my keys teardrops teardrops and i believe that these are all rounds 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 oh look at those hot pink hot pink my keys wow and they're ovals they're different so then i've got all these rounds i think these are left over from the pictures that i did um the London scene. Oh, that's some just plain crystals. They go in my jar. And uh, what was the other one that I did? The London scene and the, was it the New York scene? Yeah, because it had uh, Statue of Liberty on it. Oh, my brain went then. Okay, so they're around. Let's put these ABs away first. So I keep my AB drills, my uh, special quoted drills, in these little I've got storage and it's two um, storage one two drawers and the top drawer has all my round ABs in it and the bottom drawer has all my square ABs in it so yeah just to prove I am getting organized Um, the ones that I've actually got that I've had an AB number well a DMC number on um, I have added the DMC number to them but I have still got a few whereby I haven't got the number yet but as I get them I write the numbers on so at least I can catalogue them a little bit better as well but because there's not many it's easy to colour match and yeah that's white so I've still got one two three four nearly five tubs of white but it is uh, sort of one of the most used colours I would say is the white one um, particularly doing snow pictures and Christmas pictures and things like that. Actually, that squirrel might look nice with a white AB on his eye. Let me uh, keep one out. Oops, come on. I should have taken the piece of paper out first. Look, that's not doing my job properly. Get out, get out, get out. There's always one. There's always one. And if you don't know who that one is, then it's probably you. <laughs> right, let me see if I can just swap this. It might not look right, but we can give it a go. Take this green out there. You can always put it back in if I can find it. It's stuck to me, so it doesn't want to leave me. It was very sticky, the glue on this wreath. Uh, a little bit too sticky, really, because... Um, if I caught any of it with my fingers or whatever, it it, it sort of smudged a bit. So it wasn't uh, wholly brilliant. Um, I haven't got any wax in that pen. I ought to keep a pen with wax in, really. Let me just see if I can get this on without... Uh... I've probably got a pick-up pencil somewhere. Oh, that looks better. Oh, that looks a lot better. So it's got... Oh, it makes it... Actually, because it's got the browns and the blacks around it, it doesn't look a real stark white. It's given it uh, a little bit of a better colour. Yeah, that's a lot better. I like that better than a green eye. Okay, he doesn't want green eyes. You don't want to be chasing around after squirrels with green eyes. Mind you, on Halloween, maybe they have. Ooh. <laughs> you never can tell. Right, so these are like the purpley one. And is it that one? Is it that one? I think it's that one. I don't think I've got... Oh, no, then I've got that one as well. Oh, it could be that one. Let me... Uh, that's 820. 
Let me have a look. I think it's more. You see, if you want to know what colour the actual um, AB is classed as, you look at the underneath of the gem. Um, and whatever colour the underneath of it is, is like the plain res uh, resin or acrylic gem. So you're looking at that. No, they're purple, aren't they? So it's not that one. So it must be this one then. It doesn't really look like that one. It isn't really that colour. Ooh, have I got a different one then? They're the blacks. It's definitely not black. I think that's that one. So I think we're okay with that one. And these are like the greens. There are two different um, 310s, the 310 black. So these have got the black background and you get one that's like a greeny colour and one that's like a bluey colour. I didn't realise there was two. I think it was Jeanette that told me that there is actually two different colours in uh, your coated blacks. I'm not sure on this one. I keep looking at this thinking it's not really that one. I think I'm going to put this in a separate bottle because I'm not sure that that is that colour. Maybe uh, in a different light it might look the same, but at the moment I don't think it is. So I'm going to put those separately until I can be 100% right. Um, I do try and put them as uh, right as possible on the colours, if that's a word. But yeah, as correct as possible, as matched as possible. <laughs> because otherwise you, you're sort of wasting your time. No, they're not the same colour, are they? That is a different, that's a darker colour to that one, I'm sure. Or if it's not, it's got a different coating on it. So, yeah, let me just get a round label. Okay, these are my labels from Rebecca, add more zest. Uh, you can do your own, but I like these pretty ones. But I've got the little diamonds on. So, and I'm just going to write A, B on it, and then it's ready for if we do manage to colour match it up then I can write the number underneath. Also, it tells me that the tub has actually got something in it as well. <laughs> so we'll put that one back. Now then, how have I done? Oh no, that's the black one, isn't it? I've put the black one back in the wrong place now. Where did I put it? That's a glow. That's that black one there. I don't think I've got enough room in there to put those in. So I will pop that one there. Okay, now then the black ones with the blue coating. I don't think they're going to go in there. So I'm going to have to do another label and another bottle. Right. Getting a lot of these. I'm going to have to start using them a bit more. As I'm doing more canvases, getting more diamond paintings done, I can uh, start using them up more. Okay. Anyway, how is anybody, everybody doing? I hope uh, life is treating you kindly. Uh, and happy birthday if it's your birthday today. Uh, and I hope uh, if you've got any, if you're having any bad days, that uh, hopefully they'll be over pretty quickly for you. Okay, now then, so we'll put it's A, B, and it's 310. And that one is also 310. 10 so now we need to shuffle these all up here a little bit i'm not sure how i've managed to do that talk amongst yourselves while i just play That's a green. That's a definite green. No, it's not that one. But while they're in these little rounds, it is easy just to juggle them that little bit. Okay. Well, that will fit at that end, yeah. That one fits there. So then nine, four, six, nine, four, seven. And then shifting all those along that way. And then this one will go here. I think I've just made that a lot more hard work than it actually needed to be, but never mind. We got there in the end. <laughs> so that is always done. Right, put my labels away. 
don't think I need those again at the moment unless we get any that match up with the craft buddy ones right so we don't need well we've got ovals which there's no ovals in the craft buddy ones that I know of they're round so they can go over there so let's have a look in the uh, teardrops first so teardrops are um s i think yeah s in the craft buddy numbers as it were or letters <laughs> okay let's just shove that back a bit so we want in the owl claws and some little very pale gold ones and nope we've not got those so put those back in there so we know we now need to look at those in the main ones and marquees we've got little silver and marquees are an m letter so let's look in the m's m m m m m okay oops no that's an s i do need to sort this box it just needs um sifting out a little bit better because it's getting too full I think they're bigger than those. Yes, they are, but they are the same sort of thing. They're green. Oh, look at all these colours. I do love them. I'm such a magpie. I love collecting everything. They're all AB coated. So, no, we haven't got any of those either. So, that was a bit of a flop. So, we will have to be looking for those in the other side. Okay. So now we're looking in the rounds, right? So we've got reds. I'll take the lid off that one so we can see that they're reds. We've got reds, we've got silver, blue, uh, like a silver in a different size. We've got two different sizes in these. So purple, lilac-y, lilac orange, orange. More blues, green, hot pink and gold. So we've got most colours. So let's see what we've got in the rounds. And rounds in Craft Buddy are why? Why? I don't know, but they are. <laughs> so that's some larger AB coated look there. Okay, put that one in there. Right, so we've got a very sort of yellowy gold there. Is that one of these? No, that's too big. And it could be, oh, they could both be the same. So it might be that one. So we'll see if we've got another one or not. Definitely none of those. Definitely none of those. They're all coated ones. Okay. Is that that size? No, I think that is bigger. Let me tip these, a couple of these out. I think these are bigger yeah they're bigger so okay so it's not that one we've got a green there is that that one oh could be that one so we'll keep that one out as well okay we've got a purple there is it that one could be that one oh this could be good could be could be <laughs> That's a darker blue. No, it's definitely not those. They're like a different blue. Uh, they're a very large gold. Okay, we've got another red there. Oops. Oops. <laughs> no, it's not that one. Is it that? Oh, dear me. What am I doing? Frame, girl, frame. Uh, could be that one. Could be that one. So we'll keep that one out there. No, that's miles too big. That's another AB coated. That's too big. Um, massive. Uh, very big, very big, very big. There. Oh, now then, that's another shade of red. So let's have a look. That's another shade of red. So which one is it? I think it's, yeah, it's the darker one. So it's definitely that one not that one and not that one okay so we've got a few to match up is that the right green no it's oh no it's not that's a different green so we'll put that one away let's have a look at this purple 
uh, yes that is the same purple so there doesn't seem to be as many different purpley gems the crystal gems as there is the others so let's get that one put away there at least we've got one put away okay let's have a look at these golds and yeah they're definitely that color so we've got another two because this is from the two different kits for those little pictures uh, if you want to know which pictures they are if you look through um my smashing the specials playlist it will be in there so it's the one with the big ben on i think and with the thick tower of london with the statue of the city on they were all large round gems there wasn't any standard uh, crystals in them at all right so that's 30 to put away and then we've just got these to put away in here oh and then we've got the orange ones as well so that's that one now i've got to pick these up oh i'm sure i've got a pen with a sticky end on it somewhere that i should be able to pick them up anyway oh there's always one it's that one again. Let me slide it off the edge of the desk and do it that way. That's easier. Right. And then, yep, yeah, just the oranges. Are they the same size? They're not. They are. Oh, they are. Yeah, just my eyes. Right. So then we've got to look at these in the normal side gems. Wow. Okay, pop them away there. Oh. That isn't one of those bags, is it? Oh, and they're the same as them. Right. It's all right. My brain's going. <laughs> yeah, they were the same colour, but from two different pictures. So that's why they... Uh, <laughs> I haven't got a number on the bag. They're not the Craft Buddy ones. Right. So that's the two different colours in that one. Let me put these away in the right order. They are all in number order at this point back here so number 30 needs to go first okay 27 30 and 80 and 81 so this is too full they're all popping out the top so i do need to get this sorted but i'm sorting out my plain crystals first but as i say i have taken a bit of a break from the sorting out of this because i want to do a bit more diamond painting and there's only so many hours in a day okay right so then now what shall we look at first uh we'll start in i think silver so that's a silver one as well i hot pink blue gold that's like a goldy colour in a teardrop and that's an orange right so we'll start with silver because oh no white's at the front but then the next one along is the silver actually i'll put those back in for now because it's making these um slide about a bit and we don't want that right so white 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 is that white is that gold or silver oh Right, so silver, uh, we want rounds first. So rounds are at the front. So we're trying to match up these two. So we want ones that haven't got any uh, AB coating. That one hasn't. So that could be that one. That's a silver look with a black background. That's a slightly different one. That's a plain silver that's slightly larger. That's too large and that's got a coating. So let's have a look at these. And Oh, that's a mixed. I remember this is a mixed bag, isn't it? Did I have any others? No. So I'm just going to pop those in there for now. Yeah, I've managed to put some of the wrong ones in this one. Or it's from when uh, I did originally put all the silvers in one bag. And then I found it was driving me mad. I like to have them all separated out so I know what they are and what they are. So at some point I will separate those out. And they are all smaller ones, yeah. Okay. 
So there's no labels on these bags. They are just literally um, categorised as round marquees or teardrops or miscellaneous. <laughs> I love the miscellaneous ones. They're all very pretty. Flowers and all sorts. Okay, so now we need to be looking at marquees. So have we got any little teeny tiny marquees? We have, but they've got a coating on them. And yeah, I've put them all together. Um, yeah, I'm going to put those in there. I think I decided at an early stage, probably more by mistake than design, that uh, all the marquees, the small ones, the little teeny tiny ones, slivers as Mindy calls them, uh, would go in a bag together. So I can always pick out the clear ones from the uh, AB ones if I need them. Right, so next colour in here is gold. There's a song in there somewhere. So I want large rounds and teardrops in gold. So let's have a look at my rounds first. So it's a very brassy yellowy gold, this one. Okay, uh, these are ones that's a gold with a black background and that's a gold with like a different background. Okay. It's more bronzy, we're looking for very yellowy golds. Oh, I love these. <laughs> Do you know, I could just sit and play with these all day. Is that that one? Could be, we'll have a closer look. That's the nearest one to it, so let's have a look and see if it matches. If it doesn't, we just put it in a new bag. And yes, that is the same one as that one, so that's good doing well so far we've not had to make any new bags yet which is always a bonus because it means we'll put in like we like it just keeps them that little bit neater so now we need teardrops oh have we got any of these teardrops so no that's a oh i don't know let's have a look oh could be could be i'll have a closer look at that one that's definitely, oh, we've got that one at the end there as well. Let's have a closer look at these then. So it's definitely not any of those because they're all way out on colour. So let's have a look at these two colours. Just spread them out a little bit so you can see the colour a little bit better. That's a slightly different shade. Yep, yeah, it's that one, it's not that one. Okay. So that's that one done. And pop those in there. Okay. All right, so which is the next colour along? And uh, the next colour I have is orange. So we've got large round and miscellaneous in orange. Uh, oops. Oh, they, they might be in teardrops actually so we'll have a look in teardrops right so we're looking for this one definitely not that looks red that looks mm, could be a real different orange there's those there they look the right size so it could be that one they're the bigger ones definitely not the fiery ones and definitely not that one. Oh, I've got standard ones in there, look, along with those. Okay, so there's a bit of sorting out to do, but I mean, it's only me that's using them, so if I've made a mistake, I have. It doesn't matter. It can always be rectified. So that is that one. Oops. I'll go in there. Sounds like one of the neighbours are cutting the grass. There's not going to be much grass cutting left to do, I don't think, this year. We're starting to get a little bit of frosty looking mornings. And I think once the frost starts coming, it's best not really to cut your grass. Uh, right, orange, orange, orange. So now we are looking at our claws. Look at all these. <laughs> this is one that I definitely know I have because there is a lot of them 
Oh, they do look good as teeth. Not quite as good as the teeth on the uh, Craft Buddy Crystal Art Notebook. That's fantastic. Uh, the teeth just fascinate me on that one. Uh, so that's the pearls. Okay, so that's one strip down and just a couple to go. So I think the first one is red at this end. Yeah, we have a red. So these are actually ovals, so they will be in miscellaneous if we have any. And I'm not sure well, that's pink miscellaneous. I've gone too far. So I'll come back a little bit. And nope, we just have all little red hearts. Look out there, pretty. Uh, so yeah, so we do need a bag. So first bag, first one down. So that's not bad. I've got my large ovals. Okay. And that's that one. Whoops. And that goes there. So, and then the next one is pink. So we have small pink rounds. Well, medium pink rounds and uh, pink marquees. So we need to look in the rounds first. Does anybody remember play school where you used to have the round window and the square window? <laughs> could be that one that's a bit bigger these are all a lot paler you'd think me being me i'd have a lot more hot pink when you particularly as a lot of my uh, a lot of my paintings do have hot pink <laughs> so let me have a look and oh yes those are there right let's get these put away Mm. Pop the rose in there. Da, da, da. And then we are looking for marquees. Have we got any of these huge pink marquees? I don't think we have. Oh, we might have. So we've got a few. Oh, I think they're bigger. No, they're not the same. They're even huger. <laughs> so. We need another bag. Oh dear, that's two. Never mind, filling up my box. Right. So I'll put those away there. So that's those done. Right, so what's the next colour? The next colour is purple. So we want purple rounds and the pale ones. And we have only got rounds in the purple, so let's have a look. So that's too pale, that's almost pink, that's too dark, could be those, looks like I've got two sizes in there as well, that's too dark, that's too dark, they're too big, okay, so rounds in purple, large rounds in purple, yeah they're in there oh, that one's in there but that's actually so two different sizes so no what i'm going to do then is put um, them in a different bag starters i mean to go on so both of these need a bag of their own and then at some point i will take the others out of that other bag so i think when i started separating them all out i got to a point where i thought oh they're, they're near enough <laughs> <laughs> and then that's just come back to bite me really hasn't it because now i'm looking at them and thinking i don't want them all to be together but anyway they'll do for now otherwise this video will go on for days i could do a video where i'm just sat here sorting out drills <laughs> anybody got any paint that won't watch into drag <laughs> Right, so purple and the next colour is green and we're in large rounds again in green. Okay, and it's quite a darkish green. So it could be that one. I think that's a little bit big. Oh, it's more like that one. So yeah, we'll put it in that one. So green, large rounds. There's a lot of different greens on the DMC scale. 
but yeah they are as close as they're gonna be so they will go in there uh, some of these will be going on my Christmas wreath. If you remember, I bought an MDF blank wreath from the range. And I'm going to colour that in. And then I'm going to put drills on it. I'm going to put oh, some of these gems on. I was going to say all of these gems. No, all of these gems won't go on one thing. It'd have to be uh, as big as the house side, I think, to do that. Uh, right, so the last one is blue, and I believe that blue is after green in my little catalogue. It is. So we need the rounds in blue. Blue, blue, blue. I once wrote a poem about blue. When I was at school, I got a, a merit badge for it. I was so pleased. I wore that badge as though it made my chest about six inches bigger. <laughs> oh dear, the things you do. I didn't get many, many merit badges at school. Is that that colour? I think that might be a little bit big, but we'll have a look. It looks like that's about the only... Oh, I've only got two in that bag of that one. That could be more the size, I think, of that one. Okay. Let's pop those back away. So, yeah, they're the largest size. So that's that one. last two and then i'll just put uh, i've got a bag i'm sure with those black with the silver backing and i'm sure it's in here let's see if i can see it sort of things my memory is awful these days um yeah i've got two different sizes in there as well start a new bag for that one I seem to put things away and then I can't find them. Like the card. I've got a big pack of that card somewhere. And I've put it in a safe place. But I am uh, emptying my craft room. Now we've it emptied and cleared um, the bedroom that's next to me. The uh, kid, It used to be the kids' bedroom or the grandkids' bedroom. Uh, then I can start moving stuff from my craft room into that bedroom. And then, as I say, start bringing it all back. And then try and find somewhere to put it all because I don't think it's all going to fit back in. It's like, you know, when you take something out of a box, you've bought a really nice item. You take it out of a box and then you can never get it back in again. <laughs> I think my craft room is going to be like that. Right. Uh, actually, it's probably more like, you know, when you buy continental quilts or pillows and they're all like, the air's all sucked out of them and they're really, really tight in the package. And you open it and it goes... <laughs> Like a big marshmallow, uh, you'll never get them back in. Well, I think my stuff for my craft room is going to be a bit like that. <laughs> Don't tell hubby. Right, so that's all my crystals. Look, what I'm going to do. Um, I was thinking I love I love crystal skulls and uh, crystal balls, and I thought I might um, one of the pound shops has got some like skull drinking glasses. It's a clear glass skull um, and it's got, I think, a coloured top and a straw in it. Well, I can colour the top and I can take the straw out and cover the hole and I'm going to fill it with clear crystals. So I'll have a crystal skull <laughs> for a pound. <laughs> so that's another thing. Wait for that one to happen. Right, let me just see if I've got any of these black ones in here anywhere. They're all the bags put sort of odd ones at the beginning no they're all white so i will have to look around and see what i did unless the blacks are in here maybe i have got black i think the black are at the end because i've hardly got any black ones at all they're all yellow hello yellow yeah yellow and then i think or oh, was it yeah blacks at the end so yes that oh look how full that is Oh, I'm not going to get those in there. Right. Do I want to do another bag? Actually, I might do. I'll start a second bag for now. I can always, uh, as I sort the others out, put it for donation. But uh, I just like to keep my sparkle. <laughs> Although I have donated an awful lot of my crystals as well. I think I sent some to uh, Claire. Claire Diamond Paints. 
Dan painting Claire. Sorry, Claire. I always get that the wrong way around. Right. Okay. So that's all those put away. That's my rubbish to sort out because some of those are really good bags that I want to keep. And oh, it does feel good to get something sorted. <laughs> So that was our tall Halloween, our lovely little squirrel and everything all put away. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this little chat and uh, watching me put all these drills away and these beautiful completions. Woo, scary. Uh, if you have, as always, a thumbs up is really much appreciated. And if you've got any comments or questions, leave them in the comments down below. And if you would like to come back and see what I get up to next and you don't want to miss any videos, then if you press the subscribe button and the all notifications bell, it then notifies you of any of my videos that uh, come up. So thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.